Our grant process is very strategic. We invest in our community based on the needs that are identified through third-party studies. Every few years, we partner with a university to, de to determine what, what are the needs in the community? What do we need to achieve to make sure that the kids have what they need to succeed? Um, and so once we identify those gaps, we begin to fund them. Our grant process includes an 11-member grant committee made up of trustees from our organization. They participate in the research and in looking at outcomes of the organizations we fund, and they compare that with the needs that we've identified through university studies and other um, entities. And we match the needs with what programs have been presented before us and the money. So we make sure that the money that we distribute is very specific to meet needs that have been identified. So it's all data-based and all outcome-based. I would say anybody who cares deeply about the children in the community and really increasing the quality of the community through um, giving is a wonderful way to get involved. Uh, to me, what I find is the, is the real core to the NCEF is the Grants Committee because the Grants Committee allows you, me, to see the organizations that are in need, see the children that benefit, you see how the benefit is driven, and then from a standpoint, you, you have a chance to interact and make sure that we hold people accountable for the, the monies that we have given them in the form of grants or initiatives. It, it takes the time to survey all of them. It takes the time to look at the needs in the community and direct the funds where the best outcome is. So whether it's the Immokalee Fund, the Guadalupe Fund, um, whatever it is, if it's early learning, mental health, or dental health, we try to see what the outcome will be and we try to distribute those funds as to where the needs are right now. Um, and I think that gives us the best thinking power, some of the best minds to look at charities, analyze them, and direct the money in the best way we possibly can. And we, we again, we constantly measure outcomes in each of these initiatives to come up with the best results. We've been able to, in the last four or five years, raise about an average of $17 million. 100% of that money that was raised under the tent goes to the charities and goes to the children of Collier County. How do the grants work? Well, it's probably the most disciplined strategic process I've been involved with throughout my entire career. Because unlike a lot of organizations, who read an application and decide this looks good. There is contact between the staff and the trustees, all of whom are on the grant committee. And there's a level of discipline and care and follow through that ensures that the very best potential return on investment is secured by NCEF, of course, as as guardians of the, of the millions of dollars we raise every year. Most social agencies give money. The concept occurred to NCEF several years ago that you wanted to get a return on what you invested in. And so it led to the quantitative measures that we follow each and every year for each and every grantee. And we look to see effectively like a return on an investment we believe we're making investment in kids' futures and in the organizations who assist them. So we quantitatively determine the return on investment. The yearly grants are short-term. They're given each and every year to people who qualify and go through the rigorous process. The initiatives are more long-term. We have seven long-term initiatives and the decision has been made to invest in those initiatives because in order to make the most amount of difference, you want to have the continuity of two to three year commitments, both to the, to the seven factors like early learning, like after school, like vision care. And you want to make sure that the organizational leaders and social agencies in Naples are responsible along with our staff. I think the difference might be that we don't work individually with the children. We have the great benefit of looking at all of the applications and ensuring that the money that any individual listening tonight will be certain, if they choose to be generous, 
the debt money will go to the most effective organizations in the Naples community. And the entire philosophy of investment is that everybody who invests in our children tonight can be certain that they'll get the greatest possible return on that investment versus all of the other good causes that are there. Because when we look at each organization, we aren't just funding an organization, we're investing in the organization. And we wanna be a partner with that organization on behalf of the children that we serve. So we look at um, its results. It's very result oriented. It's not always the number of children you serve. It's the results that you're getting. I think the, the model is to really analyze critically the request for funding that we receive from a particular charity and then look at that uh, in the context of their actual financial condition, their ability to fund themselves, and how well thought out the program is that they're asking us to fund. Each member on the grant committee is responsible for, say, three charities and really doing a deep dive on those. And that committee member becomes an expert for the whole committee on that charity. Once we have funded a, f a particular beneficiary, it doesn't mean that they're home free forever. They have to go through that process, that rigorous process, each year and each time that they apply for a grant. When you look at the amount of funds that we contribute to the, these charities every year, it's really divided into two different buckets. One is uh, the aggregate of grants we are making to requests that they make to us. And that probably runs seven, eight million dollars a year. Then there's another series of initiatives that we call the strategic initiatives, which are needs that we have identified and we've been the driving force to support uh, programs to meet those needs. And that's things like dental health, eye health, mental health, um, abuse, physical abuse, uh, hunger, and you know, we, so we probably provide another five to six million dollars a year to those strategic initiatives where we have people very involved in managing those activities.